For weather that we've been talking about this week has left several California mountain communities looking for help as they're still reeling from that recent onslaught of snowstorms. Now less than 24 hours after Governor Newsom proclaimed a state of emergency for impacted counties, officials say that help is officially on the way. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 530. I'm Eric Harriman. Nikki's off tonight. Fox 40 Capitol reporter Aton Wallace takes us through the state's response to those storms. Well, as you can see here at the California Office of Emergency Services headquarters, they are in full response mode. That as those who live in impacted communities say help cannot come soon enough. This is out my son's window and this is a snow level halfway up the window. <laughs> this is the view outside Sadie Albers Wrightwood home. This is absolutely the most snow I've seen in a long time. Albers sent us these pictures and recordings of all the snow piled up outside her home and along the streets in the small San Bernardino mountain community. With the snow conditions in the street, you get four feet of snow plus the plow coming by now adds your berm in front of your driveway at six plus feet. So people are trying to dig through six feet of snow and you just, you can't. So the elderly, the disabled, they just haven't left their house in seven days and that's concerning for me. That's why Albers, who is an elected board member on the Wrightwood Community Services District, says she has urgently requested more county and state resources. Yeah, I sent out a, a plea for food and water. People were contacting me saying, they don't have food for their children because usually their children get fed in school, breakfast and lunch every single day. They haven't been able to leave for work for seven days. They can't afford their heater bill, so they're not turning on the heat. They're out of firewood. I asked for all of these resources yesterday, so we are still without those essential supplies. But she's hopeful that will change after her county supervisors approved $10 million in assistance and after the governor proclaimed an emergency declaration for 13 counties, including Kern, Tulare, Sierra, L.A., and hard-hit San Bernardino. So it's all about giving them more tools, more resources, more firefighters, more law enforcement um, to help bring people to safety. Brian Ferguson with Cal OES says the emergency declaration has allowed the state to quickly deploy resources, including the California Guard, Caltrans road crews, and private companies to accelerate snow removal. This will be able to get first responders in quickly to get residents out who need help with hopefully the goal that we're saving lives. State Senator Rosalicia Ochoa Bogue represents several San Bernardino County mountain communities. She sent the governor this letter earlier this week asking him to proclaim an emergency. Well, now that he did, I can tell you that we've been all hands on deck. And there were questions why some impacted counties in the Lake Tahoe region and other parts of the state were not included in the emergency declaration. Well, I'm told that is because they did not specifically ask for assistance, but that could always change if those counties deem they need state resources. Reporting at Cal OES headquarters in Mayther, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.